Hey everyone, Kathy the Vegan Prepper here with another Azure haul for you. I hope you guys really enjoy this one. Let's get into it. Vegan Prepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of a pan of everything like I like to do for people who don't have a lot of time. If you want to stick around, I appreciate it. But if not, then that's totally fine and I get it. You have places to be and that's fine. So here we go. I am doing all of the things and I'll get into talking about it again pretty soon. All right, so here we are and I'll go ahead and get into it. Um, 50 pounds of organic rolled oats. Um, I, ha I ran into a situation where my working bucket was empty <laughs> of my oats and then it turns out I didn't have a refill ready either. Um, so that was a little jarring. I had a bit of an identity crisis. I couldn't believe that that had happened to me. Like, who even am I? Can I call myself a prepper? I don't even know. But <laughs> basically, I got over it and I ordered my 50 pound bag of rolled oats from Azure. So I'm replacing the working bucket plus my spare at the same time where normally I would only be replacing my spare. I would have only purchased a 25 pound bag, but that's what happened. Also, keep in mind, if you've never stored oats before, uh, just to be prepared, that a five gallon bucket will not hold a 25 pound bag of oats. Um, it, it's like 25 pounds plus, or it, there's just a little extra and I can't remember how much extra is left over, but it does not all fit in the five gallon bucket just to keep yourself aware if you were planning some of your storage and you just haven't done that yet. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and start kind of, maybe let's go to the back and work our way forward. Um, so obviously I have finally, reordered some of the chicken flavor ramen <laughs> dr mcdougall's we love this stuff basically summer's coming up school is out i'm trying to like sort of keep some stuff on hand so these are gonna go back in their boxes and i'm gonna hide them <laughs> is the plan um and then once we get into summer we'll be able to start you know every now and then pull them out if we're just kind of having a lazy day just want to hang out together um I don't know, it's just, you know, it's it's for easy, nice little lazy days. And so we have those um, and those are great. And I always will chop up tofu and throw them in. A lot of times too, we'll have them with a smoothie or, you know, some fruit on the side or something. So I know full well <laughs> that this is not a complete meal, but it's just sort of a fun base and we sit around with our little cups. A lot of times we sit on the floor and like eat them with chopsticks and play a game. And this, this is, you can kind of envision what I'm talking about, summer days. Kids are home from school, we're having fun. So I'm stocking up on a little bit of that right now. Um, I got the brand new coconut milk from Azure Standard. I got two packages of 12, so it's 24 total. Um, these are also gonna be going back into their boxes. <clears throat> I sort of unpacked everything for your visual enjoyment, but also to make a nice thumbnail. Um, but my storage is such that I can't store everything in its like own dedicated spot on my shelf. I have to, stack uh, the shelves are deep so i have to stack both um front to back and like top to bottom in order to really maximize my usage <clears throat> and so for me it's easiest to sort of leave things like the ramen and like my coconut milk inside the box that they come in so that i can move stuff around as needed to grab things um and and whatnot so that's how i have to do my storage uh, but if you don't have to do it that way, then awesome. But yeah, these are going to go back in their boxes um, and I hope that they're good. Uh, so I was really happy when I saw just, just this month, I think, they, they launched this line. Um, and it looks like each of these cans of coconut milk, if I'm remembering right, it was like $1.97 a can, which is like I haven't seen that price I feel in years, <laughs> especially not for an organic no guar like all natural coconut milk so i'm very eager to try that and um, hopefully it will be good okay come back over here i have some bittersweet mini chocolate chips i haven't tried these yet but they have lower sugar content um and i have not found myself to be a huge fan of the regular mini chocolate chips um i don't know they just seem a little cloyingly sweet so i thought i'll try one that's not quite so sweet. And that's, of course, just my personal taste. You may love them, but we're going to give these a try this time. Um, this, oh, and also it's organic. And even though I know that that price tag was high, what you just saw, it is still way cheaper than buying vegan mini chocolate chips in the store by bags. It's kind of crazy. Um, but also 
We have uh, another eight pounds of garbanzo bean flour. I've just been using this a lot more. I make breakfast bites with it. And now I'm washing my hair with it. <laughs> so I can link that video down below too for anybody who's interested in seeing that. I'm doing an experiment all the month of May. I'm washing my hair with garbanzo bean flour. Um, and so far I'm really loving it. But just in general, I love cooking with it. Um, it's delicious. It makes amazing blueberry muffins, by the way, um, for anybody who's interested. Um, Pumpkin seeds, five pounds of organic raw pumpkin seeds. And so what I like to do with these is soak them for about 24 hours um, or like overnight. Sorry, not 24 hours. I soak them overnight and then I drain them and rinse them. Then I dehydrate them usually for about 24 hours at a very low setting. And then we stick them in jars and that's what we put in our smoothies. I like to pre-soak my nuts and then dehydrate them so that they're already ready to go. All that nutrition, nutrition is maximized for us. Um, and then also, if you want to eat them raw, they have a beautiful crunchy texture that they don't, like it's almost more like a roasted nut without having to roast it. Um, and it's still raw, but it's got a crunchy texture. It's easier to eat. And I don't know, I just, we just love it that way. So that's what's happening to these. Maybe not tonight, but possibly tomorrow. I'm gonna to go ahead and soak these and get them dehydrated and ready to go. Usually we use these in smoothies or we also kind of snack on them. Um, some transitional almond meal flour. So that, this is not some weirdness with the camera. That's the printing on the bag for anybody who's like, what is that? Um, but basically I love the transitional flour is back. It's much cheaper than the organic flour. I feel like the organic one is kind of prohibitively expensive at this point. But the transitional one is great. The transitional means that they are organic in all but name, like in all but certification. They haven't gotten their certification yet. So they're transitioning to the organic certification. And until they get that, it's cheaper. I kind of wish that they would just not get it so that it could stay cheaper, but that's me. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have organic capers. We do love the taste of capers. Um, my son has been gone for a few months and he's coming home and he loves capers, like with every, like his pasta and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to make sure I had some of those um, on hand. These are way cheaper than they are in my local store where I've gotten them before. Um, at my local store, I paid a little over $5 for this jar. And I, I was buying one for him, but then I did my Azure order and I was like, wait a second, they've got capers. And it's the same capers and it's way cheaper. So I got them here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep getting them here. Um, and I also grabbed this tea. Um, so it's the Tea Chino Lion's Mane Rhodiola Mushroom Herbal Whatever Rose Flavor Highfalutin thing. Um, so if you want to look at all the ingredients, you can just pause and look at this. Um, and then, you know, you can see what's in it. But while I was unpacking everything, I actually brewed myself a cup. I haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. But here I am, I'm gonna try it for you. Oh wow, that is really nice. I do taste some rose. There might be a slightly bitter taste to it, but I might have brewed it a little too long. Um, no, overall, that's really good. I like it. I bought it because Lion's Mane is extremely good for your brain, for your nerves, um, for just general health. I want to do a video on Lion's Mane Mushroom coming up, but I haven't done it yet because I want to use it a little longer myself before I can talk definitively about my results. But thus far, I believe that Lion's Mane has been helping me quite a lot with some of my um, symptoms of anxiety, but it's like literally frazzled nerves. It's like that, that feeling of just like, ah, like I can't even, I just can't even. Like one more thing can't go wrong. If one more thing goes wrong, the whole like house of cards comes flying down, you know, like that kind of overworked, overtired, frazzled feeling um, because lion's mane is itself so healing and so wonderful for the nerves. And so when you have frazzled nerves or what people talk about that, it's like literally um, the myelon sheath, which is this protective coating on your nerves over time can get worn out. Um, and then you start getting more of those feelings. Um, and so I've been taking lion's mane now for close to two months and I feel like I have <laughs> noticed a major improvement in my brain in in my health, just in my life. Um, and yeah, feelings of anxiety almost disappearing. Um, but yeah, I figured 
let me go ahead and get some of this on hand as well. I've also completely quit caffeine, which is another thing that can exacerbate those, those things I was just talking about. Um, but I thought, why not just get a little more? And it was on sale and give myself kind of a new ritual drink to drink. But yeah, it's good. So I'm also going to go ahead and try putting a little sweetener in that and a little soy milk and see what I think as far as if I'm happy that I made that purchase. But I think I'm already happy I made the purchase. I do like it, but I want to add some sweetener and some soy milk to it as well. Um, also, I didn't mention that this is the giveaway this month. So remember that the first rule of the giveaway is that we don't talk about the giveaway. This is a secret for the people who actually watch, not for people who are just combing YouTube for giveaways, okay, trying to get free stuff. If you're still here after all of that rambling, you deserve a prize. So <laughs> this is what you're going to get this month. Um, I found on Amazon, and forgive me that I'm using Amazon to fulfill the giveaways, but that's so that I don't have to pay for shipping uh, because in the past I have paid a lot in shipping to ship physical items from my house. Also, it helps me to take care of it faster because all I need is your address. If you win, um, email your address to me. Um, details are going on the screen. As soon as I have that, I can just go right into my Amazon and just have them mail one to you. So Amazon sells 25 packs of this tea and that's what you're going to be getting and I'm very excited for you I hope that you win I really do uh, just remember be focused on the text on the screen follow the rules so that you make sure that you are entering all you need to do is a comment and yeah I like I said I hope you win I just appreciate you all so much and thank you and I just love I love giving people presents so that's genuine from my heart so this makes me happy probably makes me happier to do it than it does if you win so <laughs> Over here, I have um, just some organic enchilada sauce. Um, I don't know. I'm my again, like my son's coming home. I'm focusing a lot on stuff for him too, right now in various shops that I'm doing. Um, and so he loves enchiladas. So my plan is to probably make some enchiladas for him. Actually, it was funny. We were just texting the other day because he's in D.C. right now, and he goes, "Mom." I need Mexican food. <laughs> There's no good Mexican food in DC. <laughs> so I'm going to be hopefully making him some good Mexican food, but we're also going to go out for some Mexican food when he gets home. But I have these organic corn tortillas also, which I bought um, primarily for the enchilada purposes, but also just to have some organic corn tortillas on hand. Um, and I realized I forgot to talk about the jalapeno slices. So I like to have uh, pickled jalapeno slices on hand. These are really yummy on pizzas. Um, when I make pico de gallo, I like to use this versus uh, fresh. Um, it's a little bit gentler. Not that we don't mind spice, but it's like, I don't know. I just prefer the taste of the pickled jalapeno. Um, fresh jalapeno is not necessarily our favorite taste unless they're already red. Um, it's hard to find red jalapenos in stores though. I used to grow them. I had glorious giant jalapeno bushes that finally died and I would use fresh red jalapenos for that um but yeah we, we like this taste and so I have that on hand again just for making amazing beautiful Mexican food for my son but also we love to just take the slices just as is and throw them onto pizza pineapple jalapeno um it's an amazing thing um <laughs> so I also got um two five pound bags of the tinkyada brown rice fusilli pasta and that's what this shape is it's like whirly twirly macaroni like if macaroni was longer that's what this is um because it's hollow inside it's got holes um and I have this bucket here because it's a two gallon bucket so basically it's just one of these little two gallon white buckets one five pound bag of the bulk pasta fits pretty perfectly into a two gallon bucket just FYI for anybody, again, if you're planning your storage, that's what we have for our pasta. Um, I did mention the corn tortillas. I also like that they're organic. So um, it's hard to source organic tortillas locally, and hopefully these are good. Um, and we got another 12 pack of the Ezekiel tortillas. Um, I love these things. I've showed them before. Um, the, the nutrition on these is kind of crazy. So again, you can just sort of pause here if you want to read all of the kind of crazy amount of nutrition that's in just one tortilla. So it takes kind of the simplest meal and elevates it nutritionally if your tortilla is just full of that much good stuff. Um, and so the funny thing is, though, I usually buy it from Azure because it's the best price, although I was just at Trader Joe's. And I'm pretty sure 
The ones at Trader Joe's, at least right now, are cheaper. They were only $2.99 a pack, and I'm pretty sure that's even cheaper than this. It'll be on the screen, all the math and stuff, if I'm right or not. But as an FYI, maybe check your Trader Joe's and see if they've got Ezekiel's tortillas for $2.99. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, that's what I found last time I was there. Um, a four ounce pack of organic dill. Um, the only thing that did not arrive um, that I ordered was parsley. It's like the seventh month in a row or something that I haven't been able to get my hands on any parsley. Fortunately, I do have a couple of parsley plants growing outside, so I will eventually get my hands on some parsley. <laughs> it's just going to be one that I grew myself. Um, but yeah, we have dill for making homemade ranch um, dips and stuff. I make really good homemade vegan ranch um, cashews and all that stuff. And again, my son, he's coming home. His favorite thing on earth is ranch. So I'm making sure that I have all the things I need to make all that stuff that he loves. And then also I got just a little four ounce pack of the pizza seasoning. I ordered a one pound pack quite a while ago and we still have a ton of it. Um, this is for my aunt because we were having a family gathering um, oh, for Easter. We got all got together for Easter. I brought pizzas, like homemade pizzas that I make um, with my homemade cheese and all of that stuff. Um, pretend cheese, obviously. Um, and so every everyone loved it. They thought it was good. But I brought the pizza seasoning as well to put on top. And she was putting it on that. But then she started putting it on all of her other food. <laughs> and she was like, I love this stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's really good. I think it's delicious. And so I just bought that for her because she liked it so much. So I got her a little pack of it. Um, but yeah, that is the whole haul. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot to get through. Um, but yeah, I need to go ahead, um, get some stuff into the freezer and hopefully you, again, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, I guess until next time. And I hope you win. I hope you win the tea. I really do. I do. I wish I could give every single one of you something. I wish it could be more like Oprah. You know, like one of those giveaway episodes is like, you get a tea and you get a tea. Everybody gets a tea. I wish, but I can't. So hopefully whoever gets it will really enjoy it and appreciate it. But anyway, I guess that's all. So as always, I hope the rest of your day is good and your life stays wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Now it's all frothed up with a little sweetener and a little soy milk. <laughs> so now let's see what we got. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, now I will say I definitely can taste the rose, but I love the flavor of rose. So definitely if you don't love the flavor of rose, it's not going to be for you. But I'm gonna have a really hard time not drinking at all, like right now. <laughs> I'm seriously leaving now. From the fount of every blessing, tune my heart.